Good morning and welcome back to the zombie apocalypse here on the road to Riverside-ish. So bringing you in just after the crossed Big Bear Lake. So we're now basically in not necessarily unknown, but at least undriven through unexplored territory. Um, Now we've we've driven this road here in, in previous playthroughs several times. But uh, we've not been here yet so far in this run, so Yep. That one didn't dodge. Yeah, I was not paying attention to the houses we passed if there's any survivor houses over there. Because clearly that's something I would get distracted by. So yeah, this, this road uh, definitely has still one or two zombies out there. I didn't see too many people running though. Well, that's just a spear. Like the other thing I'm looking out uh, whenever we get to a new area and see new zombies for the first time. Does anyone have a katana sticking out of them? Because hey, we're almost at five months, still haven't seen a katana. I think we had one early, right? From some sort of... Um, from Survivor House or something? I think we had one. I don't know. Although then I would have a broken katana somewhere, because I usually keep them as decoration. And I don't think I have one anywhere, so... Probably didn't have one. Anyway. Don't see any katanas here. I'm a little bit concerned. I was, I was kind of, uh, you know, of course the main objective of this raid today is to get solar panel parts and, and batteries and that kind of stuff uh, from the warehouse. But I was also keeping an option open, like if there's anything that's looking like it belongs in my garage on that parking lot of the warehouse, we can drag it back to base. But dragging it through that zombie crowd there, that's a, that's a bit of a task. But yeah, we got an early morning. It's unfortunately again a little bit of a foggy day, but I think this is just light fog. Surely this will not stay until 4 p.m., right? Probably regret not taking care of this obstruction there right away. Alright, so, if we need a trailer, there's a trailer over there. Only two cars on that parking lot, and none of them looked particularly interesting. Nice, normally this would be my approach here. Getting somewhere, oh my god. I, I I just saw something there in the parking lot outside the warehouse. From the corner of my eyes. Okay, I think we're just gonna get out here. And start fighting. I think I brought the froggy chair, did I? No. It's 
So I'm not sure I want to actually go into the um, storage units. I think, well, maybe depending on how much time we use to clear the warehouse and actually get inside. We have time for the storage units. Cool, we'll, we'll take them. But I think warehouses is priority here. Yeah. Take it slow. Got the next group or two here. Let's give you some room. That is very something kind of satisfying taking on a runner with that spear stab. Yeah, well, not, not even. So what I was seeing here earlier is the Optimus Prime color version of that that machine there. Garden Fox still stupid, but stupid effective. Ooh, we also have a, a military style trader there. What are you working on? Just a crowbar. Right, that was such an automatism there. <laughs> Oh, shotgun shells. I gotta pick them up. We only have 60 boxes of shotgun shells at, at base. Better pick up some more. Yes. I need to be more precise with my, my cursor positioning. Actually put it over the zombies and not just in their general direction. Anyway, let's check the back side here. There was a big group. There was a group back there. I'm not necessarily sure it was a big group.
Well, we're gonna do a full clear around the place before we start going inside. Oh, is that what I think it is? It's a bread knife. Gibret knifed. The hell is he? Fuzzy coat? Is that that long thing here? Ah, so even more trucks and trailers here. I must have crossed the 7k mark um, a little bit ago, so yay, 7,000 kills. What's our favorite weapon here? Crowbar, apparently, okay. Ah, it's this group, and then we are gonna push um, to the front of the building. I feel like the, the fog has gotten worse the longer the day goes on, which is weird. Normally it gets better. Can't really see if anyone here is in front of the building. Not anymore. Out of curiosity. Where'd these guys come from? What in the world are you a Viking X? I mean, we're so close to spear level up here, so I kind of want to go spear until we're six. But that, that Viking X is definitely going to see action very soon. Now, I'm not sure how exactly this X got stuck in that way there. In that zombie, that's a weird way to stab somebody with an axe, but hey, I'm I'm not I'm not an axe expert. Oh wait. I'm a lumberjack, I'm an axe expert. Yeah, so no, it makes no sense. But I'm not complaining.
I think that should probably be the last group outside here. At least on this side of the, the warehouses. Yeah, I don't care so much about this over there. Okay, let's have a... A little bit of stew. I think we're gonna bring the uh, the Humvee over. Come on, Fock, clear up, please. Is locked, but we can stay park here and then go out this way to load up the loot. Go around the front and go in there. Quick, uh, you know, cigarette check. anything even remotely useful that could spawn in there don't see anybody in the main in the main warehouse area just just run to the middle here Listen, two, three, four, nothing. Okay. All right. Um, oh, this is. I thought the side door was here in this room. You know what? Might seem silly, but I'm gonna take something for the house cleaning. Routing motors. I'm gonna go full double backpack here. And I'm gonna go through all those things. If we have room left at the end, you know, let's just throw these outside. We might, assuming we're gonna have room back at the end. Like, I'm not gonna. Don't think we're gonna find that much stuff. Pick up some gravel bags to gravel the road and some sand bags. I think, you know, I want to kind of put some sand um, near the waterline to have a little little bit of a of a nice beach. Completely unnecessary, I know. But hey, we're all playing a bit. Okay, so I think I'm going to go around here and look for all these boxes. Um, and I don't think that's going to be super interesting, so I'm just going to do a very quick cut here and then I'll get back to you with my findings. Alright, uh, first looting update. In terms of solar, we found two solar panels, two big batteries and then two small batteries. I also picked up a bunch of propane torches, some weapons, one electric wire. 
Eh, I was kind of hoping for a little bit more. There's a bunch of gravel here, a bunch of paint if we need some additional paint. I still haven't painted anything, I just remembered. But you know, in case we want to paint the whole freaking perimeter wall. Um, I'm, I'm considering turning this into a two-day loot trip, you know, just, you know, sleeping out in the old car. And, um, yeah, something like that. So, I don't know yet. Um, I want to put this in the trunk. And this almost full backpack here. Goes in the rear right seat. Alright, now. Um, there was one thing. I saw another antique oven in one of the containers in there. So I'm just going to get my inventory, uh, my, my weight below 10, right? I need 40 capacity in order to pick that thing up. So let's drop everything that I don't desperately need right now. That unfortunately includes the, the Viking Axe. Alright, and then out here I need to probably... Let's put you away for now. I need the hammer to actually pick that thing up. I wish I could get away with keeping most of that stuff on me. Put the splitting axe away. And then the balaclava in here, that should be enough. Okay. Oh, no, I just need the hammer to install it later on. Um, yeah. That was briefly at 49.6. Then it counts as equipped, not 21.5. Not sure how you equip an antique oven, but... Look, don't argue with the game. Alright, and we can put that on the other back seat. 40 out of 32, love it. Okay. Um, give me the fork back. And give me the splitting axe backs back. So, yeah, uh, drowsy because I had a really early morning. But I'm thinking, so there's a bunch more um, boxes over in the other warehouse, in the, in the bigger warehouse. Not as many as here, like this is this is the main loot spot, if you're ever interested in this place. Now, if you, you know, spawn in Riverside and hit this up day one or the first week or whenever, you're good. You're gonna have a lot of stuff. We can probably open up the garage and, and drive inside with the Humvee and then sleep inside. Turn this into a bit of a two-day trip and then we have some time tomorrow to explore the parking lot. Maybe even hit up the um, the gas station across the street, see if they have some more cigarettes for us. Ah, but with the rest of the daylight today, we're gonna head out, check, check out the warehouse here across the street, or across the yard. The warehouse across, warehouse across. So probably time for the flashlight. What are you rocking?
The only downside that you can't find here is much in terms of electrical XP. Just picking up those few watches. It's it's still the grind until level 6. And I'm sure that there were some opportunities in previous towns and previous adventures. Where I could have dismantled more stuff. It's not like I can go back. So we just need to find more stuff. For me, let's see if this, this door here is open. Does not look too promising so far. Definitely some zombie sounds. Picking up all the batteries, but also think like the the battery capacity is not our problem, right? It's the production during the day. Like I can't even fully charge the batteries I have. Getting more batteries is not gonna help. It's not gonna hurt either though. You gonna get up again? No. Yeah, there's no point door flashing a door with a window in it, but outside. Where are you coming from? Yeah, if we're going to pick up gravel, I'm going to get the gravel out of the other warehouse. So this, this second warehouse here is really just checking for our primary objective, which is the solar stuff. Which is nowhere to be found. Okay.
Ah, I'll take an extra wood glue. Don't think we need it. But hey, if I move away the things to get to the other um, crates, then I at least want to get something out of it. Well, I'm not sure what to say. I was really hoping for more than two solar panels from the soul trap. Oh, I think I should take out these guys there before we drive in here and go to bed. Right. The only downside of this whole um, turning this into a two-day trip is I didn't really plan for it food-wise. Just brought like two bowls of stew. But I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm slightly over 80 anyway. Oh, come on. Did I really not open that from the inside? Rookie mistake. Leave that on, so I have some light in here. First of all, anyone who's unhappy about my driving sounds. Now that's actually close enough to bother me, so let's kill these two guys. Oh, five guys. There we go. Spear leveled up. Time to put that spear. Put it away. Grab an axe for the back. Alright. Got the 7000 kills. And got our next combat still skill to level 6. So now it's really just short blade that's missing. And then a whole bunch of axe. But axe is going to go super fast, right? Since we have the, the axe traits for more XP. So this is going to go fast. And also axe is killing fast. Uh, almost level 5 sprinting, I just noticed, and Nimble is also not too far away. So, lots of level ups to be had. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of gathering stuff, then we're gonna sleep in here and uh, take a second day of looting the Rosewood, no, Riverside warehouses and gas station and storage unit. And maybe make a trip to the trailer park, get some food there, turn it into a three day trip. I don't know yet. Um, I'm also going to try to see how it drives when I drag that Optimus Prime colored semi um, behind me. It's probably not going to go well. That, that probably will remain a pipe dream getting that home. 
I also don't see really us driving around in that. Um, but it looks damn cool. Anyway, uh, I'm going to put a cut in here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.